Hi children, how are you? Hope you are all doing fine. So here we are going to discuss assignment number 3 from uh, units and dimensions. So let's move on to the question number 1. The physical quantities which are dependent on fundamental quantities are called. So basically let's define uh, what is a fundamental quantity and then uh, let's uh, answer that question. Fundamental quantity means the quantities which do not depend on other physical quantities for their measurement are called fundamental quantities. And uh, there are basically seven fundamental quantities. They are length, mass, time, electric current, temperature, luminous intensity, and amount of substance. And uh, the quantities which depend on other quantities for the uh, measurement are called derived quantities. He is asking that the physical quantities which are dependent on fundamental quantities. So the quantities which are depending on other quantities are called derived quantities. So the answer will be derived quantities, option number two. And uh, going back to second question, area, volume, density are dash, dash uh, means they are either fundamental quantities or fundamental units or derived units are derived quantities. See, let's so basically area is defined as length into breadth. So if you see length and breadth, so length and breadth are uh, nothing but fundamental quantities. So, area is depending on some other quantities for its measurement. So, definitely area will not be a fundamental quantity. And next, volume. Volume is defined as length into breadth into height. So, volume also here depending on other quantities for its measurement. So, definitely volume is also a derived quantity as like area. And next, density. Density is defined as mass upon volume. Here density is also depending on other quantities for its measurement. So here density is also a derived quantity. So area, volume and density are derived quantities and the correct option will be option number 2. Next question, which of the following is an example of derived quantity? So as I, dis, uh, as I told you before that there are seven fundamental quantities, you know, length, mass and time comes under those seven and if you observe force, it is not in the list of uh, fundamental quantities and if you, if you want to define that one, you can write force F is equal to M into A. So again M into Vf minus Vi upon T. So if you observe force you now, it is depending on other physical quantities for its measurement. So definitely force is an example of a derived physical quantity. So the correct option will be option number one, force. And moving on to the next question, a derived physical quantity can depend on how many physical quantities? A derived physical quantity can depend on how many physical quantities? Uh, if you observe question number two, their area is depending on L into B two quantities. So definitely it is not option number one. And uh, Next one, volume is depending upon three physical quantities, length into breadth into height. So it is, it may be one or it may be two or it may be three. So any, uh, any a physical quantity can depend upon how many number of physical quantities means it can be one or two or three, it may be any number. So any number of fundamental physical quantities is the correct answer and it is option number three. Next one. If speed is equal to distance upon time, then speed is derived from. So speed is defined as distance upon time. So distance is nothing but length and time is here I think it is given directly time. So speed is depending upon length and time. So the correct option will be for length and time. Next sixth question, force is derived from. So force if you write the formula of force F is equal to M into a and uh, that is m into v upon t here i have to write change in velocity but i am writing here so again m into velocity is nothing but displacement upon time so if you see here so force is depending upon mass and then length and then time so force is derived from which of the quantities mass length and time mass length and time so the correct option will be option number 3 And next one, volume, volume is derived from, 
So if you write the formula of volume, volume is defined as length into breadth into height. So it is depending upon, so, so these three are nothing but length only. So volume is simply depending upon length. The correct answer will be option number four. I think hope you all understood the assignment discussed above. Thank you.